So that's one way of th running things within within this framework. But you can actually also uh, just use R directly. So the uh, consortium have created several packages um, in R. And so these range from things, these what are called supporting packages, which allow you to connect to your database. The data is usually stored in a, a sort of SQL format um, to interact with that SQL via R, via an SQL render package. And then to uh, create, your, create, create your cohorts and undertake um, comparative effects analyses using the cohort method package. Um, I do have some code here, but this is this is essentially from the uh, tutorials which are available uh, within within the package documentation. If you look at the vignettes, you can you can look at these examples. I'm not able to run it here because I have I don't have access to any real data. I have some synthetic data, um, but it takes a little bit of time to run. Um, so the, these tools have really been built, as I say, around comparative safety analysis, around regulatory use cases, and only now are um, further developments being made to make them more applicable to the range of use cases relevant to uh, HTA submission or HTA body. Um, so what you can do if you need to do analysis, which isn't currently within this, within this framework, within the packages that currently exist and have been made available, is simply to create your own bespoke R code. So you can interact with the uh, databases in the SQL format through R, uh, bring them into R, prepare them as necessary for your analyses and undertake uh, analyses using the tools you would ordinarily do so within R. Um, so I can stop the share there. So Really, I've just been trying to give people a little bit of a flavor of what this common data model approach is, as I'm sure it's not familiar to most people. And some of the, the range of tools which are available um, in R at the moment. As I say, it really has been built around regulatory use cases. It's gaining a lot of interest in, in regulatory circles. And only now is they're really starting to think about trying to make it useful and applicable to health technology assessment and that's why our, uh, NICE is involved in this in this project um, but in order to ensure that it does become useful for HTA it is important that people from the HTA community do engage with this project so if anybody thinks it would be potentially relevant to any of their research I would encourage them to go onto the Odyssey forums available online and the Odyssey GitHub and try and understand a bit more about the project and, and interact with, with the community there. That's everything. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, is there any specific question uh, at this point? I think the chat uh, um, went on to discuss kind of spillover of the previous talk, but I can't see a specific question there, I don't think. Um, I do have one which is uh, about how you guys are liaising with different parts, for example, of the NHS, um, you know, in terms of, of, of sharing practices as well, or guidelines. With, in, in what respect do you mean, Gianluca, in respect to uh... Like, you know, if um, what you've showed us is, uh, is something that uh, others are trying to implement and kind of stealing off what you have done in your specific set of collaborations in other parts of, say, the NHS. Well, uh, if I've answered it correctly, I mean, there's, there is interest in among those who have data related to UK healthcare system. So CPRD, for example, uh, mapping their data to this common data model. Various other institutions have already mapped their data, but they're they're kind of doing it centrally. And it could be that in the future, people are able to share scripts that they've run against um, synthetic data or other data sets and and share that with CPRD uh, to be run that way. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we I mean, the, in general terms, uh, Nice has a data analytics function who are taking learnings from this project and many and lots of other work and engaging very 
in depth with NHSX, HDR UK, NHS Digital to try and help set standards for kind of data collection and data standardization across the NHS. Um, there is a question now. So is data analysis always distributed in the model? There is no way to combine data to run statistical analysis. Not unless you have multiple data sets in your, in, uh, you know, where you're working and then you can combine them as you wish and, 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 and run it that way. But if you're, if you're working with the data that you have access to say CPRD, and you want to combine that with data from the Dutch primary care system, yeah, you would have to do that within a federated data uh, approach. Mm -hmm. And then there's a comment, I guess, which is directly addressed to you. Um, um, it looks like it could be amazing. Have you talked to Sale at Swansea? No, but that's, uh, thank you for the comments. Um, yeah, I, I will look into that further for sure. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Um, I think we we could probably start wrapping up. How are you happy with that? Yeah, happy with that. I, I think we're bang on time if we do. And I'm supposed, I think, to sort of give the final remarks. And uh, I would like to start to uh, mostly uh, thank you all for, for being with us. Thanks to all the speakers for giving uh, amazing talks. I think it's been a very, very interesting afternoon and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, so, uh, let me admit somebody who's, uh, remain in the, in the waiting, uh, in the waiting list now. Um, I think <clears throat> this is a very nice sort of introduction uh, to, um, to the second part of the, of the workshop as well, which is a Monday morning. I guess many of you have registered for that as well. So we'll see you again. And that's very, very nice. Um, and the final couple of, uh, of points I wanted to raise is um, first of all, to point you towards, but this is probably pre, um, talking to, uh, preaching to the choir because you probably know that, but point you towards our uh, website, rhda.org, uh, where we are going to uh, include lots of uh, potentially uh, outputs from these couple of workshops, but also where we, uh, where we put news and we're trying to work in terms of including tutorials, pointers to new packages. So. Um, this is something that we encourage people to, um, to do. Um, the other thing related to that, which I think we should mention, is that uh, Howard uh, and I, and uh, in fact Petros Petlionoglu, who is um, in Toronto, and many of the people who are on this call who are involved with the consortium in different forms, are working together on a book on R for Health Technology Assessment. Um, we aim at making it available as soon as possible. It will be a long process, I think, because we are a bit ambitious and we want to stick everything that we possibly can in the book. But it will be one of those uh, books which are available both in um, a paper format, which CRC will uh, publish and sell, and as an ebook, um, which will be uh, open uh, for the people to, um, to actually see and, and, and browse. So again, stay tuned because there will be more. And we actually value feedback from events like these to, um, to see where we should concentrate our, our efforts, essentially. So um, again, once, uh, once again, let me, let me thank everybody for, for staying with us until so late on a Friday. And uh, Howard, I don't know if you want to uh, add anything. Uh, only just to confirm to everyone that we will make the recording available uh, after the event. And we're also hoping to make the slides available. So um, other than that, just in case you've missed out. And again, if, if, if people wanted to summarize what their, what their takeaway message is, where we could try and do posts on various um, places like the RHCA website and, uh, and also share on our social media for people to actually see and continue the discussion, which I think is very, very helpful and very interesting. So I'll stop recording in a second, but once again, let me thank everybody and uh, hope to see you again on Monday and on the uh, future events. Bye. Bye everyone. Thanks Gianluca. Bye all.